Hey, Tin Can. Good morning, Gavin. Ready to get to work? Not quite. I'm still preparing for the investigation. Well, at least it's just bureaucracy today. No dead bodies. I believe corpses may be easier to deal with. People are complicated. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. There. Can you breathe now? I don't need to breathe. You are so uptight all the time. Even in your own brain. Isn't this supposed to be your ideal world? Loosen up a little. My ideal appearance is polished. Well, at least you let me keep my clothes. Sort of. I like the way you look. Why would I change it? Nines. 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 Hey, meat sack to tin can, come in. You blow a fuse or something? Uh, no, detective. Just wondering if you'll ever run out of android jokes. Well, not as long as you keep being one. You seem tense, rookie. Been a cop for nine years, Gavin. There's nothing I haven't seen before. Yeah, and you've been a detective for two days. Keep your eyes open, watch them. Down! 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 Don't worry. I've never been intimidated by people who hate androids. Think you're going plastic? DPD, back off. Just want to spend the rest of the day in a cell for interfering with police business. What are you? Some kind of android bootlicker? <laughs> Even the cops are in on this now. <laughs> Reed's advice, go back to your people. Y'all have a nice day. You're lucky no one was filming that. The last thing you need is to get fired for assault. No one's gonna give me shit over putting some backwards asshole in this place. Perhaps in the court of public opinion, but Captain Fowler did not hire you to be a vigilante. Get off my back, okay? Whatever happens, it was worth it. Besides, you're the one who broke his hand. That could be justified as self-defense. I'll take it from someone who's been in a fight or two. I had it covered. As charming as your scars are, detective, I do not need my honor defended. But I do appreciate it. Good morning. Thank you for coming. You the Jericho rep we spoke to on the phone? Yes, my name is Ada. Welcome to New Jericho. Guess the word got out about a dead android, huh? People protest outside of Jericho every day. It's unrelated to the case. It's fascinating to see an android working as a detective. What's your model number? RK-900. RK? Like Marcus? Yes, we're in the same model line. Huh, incredible. You must be one of a kind. I believe DVNC makes us all unique. <clears throat> uh, you got those case files to show her? Of course. This is everything we have on the case. The victim's identification said she resided here, which is why we got in touch with you. I recognize her name and model number from our manifest. Lisa. She was the only AC-900 at Jericho. 
What happened to her? A longshoreman found her body disposed of at a shipyard. Her chest cavity was ripped open, and she was missing her therium pump. What do you need from me? Well, most murders are committed by someone the victim already knew. She lived here, so all of her friends and acquaintances at Jericho could all be suspects. It would be helpful if we could interview her known associates. We need that information from you. We're not saying that someone from Jericho murdered one of their own. No. As difficult as it is to accept, I could believe it. Deviancy opens so many doors, and not all of them are kind. And with the financial strain some androids are under, the desperation to kill would be believable. No, well, no one's being arrested just yet. It's just testimonies for now. And uh, if you think of anything else that might be helpful, give us a call. You must be one of a kind. And Tim can take you anywhere. That is not what she sounded like. It was more like... You must be one of a kind. That's really creepy. I can do your voice, too. I definitely want to hear this. Don't you fucking dare. Don't you fucking dare. Don't. <laughs> hey, you. I know you. Chris, hey, hey, look, sorry, man. This isn't exactly his scene. My name is Parker. You don't remember me, but I'll never forget your face. He murdered a dozen of our brothers and sisters at Capitol Park. Didn't even care until you got caught. Marcus should have made you pay that night. Chris is a good man. He showed me what it means to be alive. He protects our people. That won't bring my family back. I know it won't. Back then they, they told us that you all were just machines. Marcus's mercy showed me that you were alive, that you're people. I learned that lesson too late to save your friends. I have to live with that choice every day, and I'm sorry, but you have to live with it too. I don't care about your guilt. realize how good he has it. He's domesticated a Terminator into making his coffee for him. Gavin has showed up to work freshly showered and only punched one person today. If I continue to reward this good behavior, perhaps it'll stick. Hmm. I guess I take it back. Maybe you've domesticated him. You have been a good influence on him, Nice. Sometimes he looks like he's actually slept. And ever since you've partnered up, he's gone from full asshole to maybe half an asshole. Although, feel free to stop there, because if he gets any nicer, 
I'm not sure I'll be able to talk to him anymore. Don't worry. I have no intention of stealing away your best friend, Officer Chen. I'll ensure he maintains a hostile enough disposition to still enjoy office gossip with you. Good. Thank God. I hate you. You love me. Move your feet. Mm. Have you been reviewing the case? Uh, you know me. When do I stop? The victim's an AC 900, right? Well, it happens to be a model designed for athletics and endurance, so her Ethereum pump is one of the most valuable out there. Mm. You think the killer could have black market motivation? He can't rule it out. Know how advanced that part is. So, once I made that genius deduction, I went through a list of my contacts in the Android parts market, and they got back to me with some common drop sites for black market deals. Contacts? There are black market dealers who collude with the DPD. Well, they give me until I stay off their back. That doesn't seem legal. Okay, nines. Sometimes you gotta bend the rules if you wanna catch a bigger fucking fish, all right? I know it's not in your protocol or whatever, but that's why you got me. How would I ever succeed without your obstinance and rule breaking? Yeah, you got a real funny way of saying experience and wisdom. Wisdom? Gavin, I have a database in my brain containing over 200,000 words in the English language, and I believe you found the one that least applies to yourself. Shut the fuck up. Look, we intercept some dealers, bring them in, find out if our victim's theory and pumps have been making the rounds, it can lead us straight to the killer. It's a good start, but waiting for a dealer to cross our path could mean it could take weeks to find a lead. Thought of that too, smartass. There are definitely some sites where black market activity is hot. These apartments out in Ferndale, and slide docks here. Hmm. We'll need to split up to cover both. Ah, you won't have to miss me. We can get Chris on one of them while we go to the other. He's been quiet since Jericho. Hey, maybe work will take his mind off it. Mm. Bearing troubles in your work is your usual approach. aren't necessary. My vision can zoom up to 850%. Oh uh, yeah? Well, mine can't. At least y'all have something to look at. I'm out here by myself, staring at an empty dock. Oh, believe me. Being alone would be far preferable than being trapped in a car with Gavin's questionable music taste. Asshole. You better not leave me alone next week when I have my promotion party. Don't worry. I put it in our calendar. We'll be there. Our calendar? What? We spend most of our time together. It's only natural our schedules are synced. If you guys want to stay attached at the hip, I can make sure to find a booth for you. Bullshit. You know, with some android chick, all of you are doing an investigation. Are you referring to Ada? Of course I'm referring to Ada. You are truly appalling. She's aesthetically pleasing, as all androids are built to be. But I don't feel anything for her. What would make you, you know, feel something? Well, I suppose I would start with getting to know someone. Connecting with them on a mental and emotional level. Appearance doesn't factor into it much. Except, I suppose once an attraction has occurred, I, I could fixate on certain aspects of their appearance that I find charming. So what you're saying is I don't have to worry about you fucking our Jericho contact. I wasn't designed with such programming, so no, you don't have to worry about me fucking anybody. Hey, hey, hey. Mr. 800% zoom vision, look. What about you? What would it take for you to feel something? I don't know, nines. Beggars can't be choosers. At this point, I'd probably take any person that doesn't bail the moment things get bad. Bad? In what way? Have you met me? God, what isn't bad? You all people should know that. We had a rough start, I suppose. But there's much more to admire about you. 
and did a test, I think. Let's go. Good evening. Oh, shit. BPD. What are you up to tonight, kid? Oh, just, uh, just broke up with my girlfriend, you know. Moving out and uh, it's a bunch of boring ass shit. Care if we, uh, take a look inside? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Go right ahead. I'd advise against that if you value your skeletal integrity. Fun glasses. You know the purchase of Android parts from unregistered dealers is illegal, right? Oh, hey man, man, I know how bad this looks, but... The truth is, I'm still with my girlfriend, and she's an android, and she can't afford maintenance, and just... Oh, come on, man. You're an android. I understand. Hey, shut up. Look, kid, all we want to know is whether or not you bought a Ethereum pump from this guy. Wait. Ethereum pumps? Dude, nobody's got Ethereum pumps. I mean, like, those things are like the fucking holy grail. I mean, it's like trying to get a human heart. You know, nobody really wants to give them up because you need them to kind of, like, live. So your dealer doesn't have any Ethereum pumps in his collection? Oh, hell no, no. This guy's mostly into arms. Like, robot arms, not gun arms. Duh. Anyway, so a lot of these internal doodads don't make their way around here mainly because they've been shipped straight from Japan and they go straight back to Cyberlife and... Actually, a friend of mine did go dumpster dive behind one of the Cyberlife warehouses, but the laser drones turned him into Swiss cheese before he could really get anything. That must have been very hard for you. Yeah, it was. So, uh... Can I go? Now? You purchased Android Contraband, which is a federal crime. We're legally obligated to arrest you. But, because you're cooperative, I suppose we can strike a deal once you're brought in. Don't worry. We'll go easy on you. Just try not to be so goddamn annoying. You can do it. I know we haven't tracked down the part yet, but it could still be out there. If Ethereum pump is a rare item, news would get out if it was made available on the market. Lotso mentioned his girlfriend needing maintenance, which is why he was purchasing the parts illegally. I wonder if the murderer killed because they needed Ethereum pump, or else they'd shut down? You don't believe his story about a sick girlfriend, do you? Androids are systemically underpaid. Humans have government-provided health care, but we don't. People resort to desperate measures when their lives are at risk. <sighs> Shit. I've got nothing. Kevin, when's the last time you slept? What does that have to do with anything? Lately, I've noticed an increase in your caffeine consumption, smoking, and sarcasm, even for you. Will you stop scanning me? 
I'm fine. I'm your partner. I know you're not used to having someone care about your welfare, but perhaps it's time you accept that I do. Why don't you get to bed? I can stay here and review the case files while you sleep. That is, if you don't mind me staying over, of course. Yeah, fine, whatever, stay. Just stop looking at my insides and shit. Get some sleep, Kevin. This will all still be here in the morning. Night. New threads, huh? I dig it. Less buttons for you to tamper with. Although I'm sure you'll still find ways to distract me. I'm still trying to solve this case. In lieu of other explanations, I'm starting to consider the possibility of suicide. It's too gruesome for that to be the case. She was ripped apart, remember? Well, she probably would have left a note. You're right, of course. I overlooked that. But can compare her wounds to previous homicide victims, to be sure. Huh. It's curious. Hmm? There's this case from four months ago. It was a Tracy model. She was missing her Tracy parts. We assumed it was a perverse sex crime, but each of these androids are missing a part that is unique to their model number. Something that could be valuable if sold or collected. I've got a better question. Hmm? What do you think Gavin was gonna say? Right before he walked into his room. I don't have time to analyze the myriad of things Gavin might want to say to me. We need to focus on this case. There's always something else to focus on. When's it gonna be time? Time for what? To have this. Out there. Look, it's gotta be you who moves first. Timing's always gonna be shit. You just gotta fucking be honest. I have no intention of translating my simulations of us into real life. I was built to destroy. I've accepted that. But I've changed my purpose to protecting people. But there are still some things I wasn't designed to do. And I know I can't satisfy anything Gavin desires beyond our current partnership. Doesn't sound like what he said at the stakeout. Dude doesn't need all the bells and whistles, Nines. He just wants someone who doesn't hate him. Then he can tell me that if he wants. Until then, we are partners. Nothing more. Gavin? Gavin! What are you still doing here? I stayed to review our case files. I heard you struggling. I'll go get you some water. No, no, no I'm fine. I'm fine, I'm fine. Oh, shit. Okay. Fuck. Guess now you know why I don't sleep, huh? What were you dreaming about? I don't even remember. Probably bore you if I did. Learning more about you would never bore me, Gavin. Would you like me to stay with you? Research shows that physical touch is good for humans. It releases serotonin, which has a calming effect. I think no. that... No. No. I'll take my chances with the cat. Okay. 
be in the living room if you need me. It's about this one night. Was a dumb kid. Dropped out of high school, fell with some shithead stealing red ice for a little while, and just. I just couldn't do it. I, I stopped. They fucked me up, kicked me out. I'm wandering around the streets of Detroit, bloody to shit, nowhere to go. Fowler found me. He's on patrol. Put me in his car, drove me to a diner, bought me coffee. Told me I could intern at the DPD for a little while. Have something to do, you know. Sounds like a happy ending. Why is it a nightmare? So every time it replays in my head, he doesn't show. And I just die out there. Bleeding in the fucking snow, no one cares. Are you sure you don't want me to stay with you? Tell anybody about this. I'll have you scrap for parts. Empty promises. Still here? Why wouldn't I be? Made breakfast, actually. Eggs and toast, like you usually have. The hell is all this? Are you feeling all right? Fucking peach. I need you to leave. Just make me at work, okay? I'm just, just wipe everything from last night from your brain. I'm not leaving because you regret having acted like a person. Get out! So. Have you made any progress with Lisa's case? Well, we've conducted interviews of all the contacts that you gave us from Jericho. We're reviewing the notes now to see if there are any leads. Nines and I looked into the local black market. Nothing turned up. Keep looking. Yes, that was a bit of a dead end. But after reviewing some cold cases last night, I saw a pattern that I previously overlooked. That's fucking news to us, Sherlock. I realized that Lisa isn't the only android victim who is missing a vital bio component. In the past year, nearly a dozen other androids were also missing parts. 
I never made a note of it because I assumed that the parts were either lost or damaged during the crime. But now I wonder if these victims are connected. And when were you planning on telling your partners this? I just discovered it last night, and I haven't had time to relay it to you. Last night, huh? So, you believe Lisa was the victim of a serial killer? I'll need to do some further investigation to know for sure, but there does seem to be a pattern here. All of the parts stolen are different and highly valuable. Lisa's therium pump, Philip's high-capacity battery, even some Kevlar plating from a military android. It's almost as if the killer is creating a collection. You really are the most impressive android ever made, RK-900. You know, if the killer is creating a collection, and it's someone from Jericho, we could just do a search of the rooms. I mean, if we find the cash, we find the killer. Now, we need your permission for the warrant. I'll have to consult with Marcus, but I'm sure everyone would be willing to comply to bring Lisa's killer to justice. I know what this petulance is about. You're stressed about the case, about last night. Keep your voice down. I, I can't, I can't talk about this right now. And they have all these different like theory of cocktails, there's the Blade Runner, there's, uh, yeah, you, you know, they, they're great. So, um, you should come out and join us. Will Detective Nines be there? Par pardon? Yes, I, you're coming to my party tonight, right? At uh, Burndale? Of course. Oh, cool. mm -hmm. Then I shall make an effort to join you. We'll see you there. You invited her to your party. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can thank me later, Casanova. Casanova's a guy from a... Uh, uh, To Chris, the GPD's newest, most huggable detective. <laughs> mm, I don't know about that. Sorry, what's this thing? I've seen that Lieutenant Anderson before. Oh my god, you and your crush on Hay. You're gonna make me throw up? Yeah, I'm with Gavin. Yikes. I'm just kidding. He's got nothing on my team. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll do the dishes when I get home. You don't have to bribe me. What is Hank up to anyway? I thought they'd be back from New York by now. I heard from Connor a couple days ago. Apparently the NYPD extended their contract. Two more weeks of training their Android Crimes Department. I guess no one's more qualified than them. They're kind of the OG team for Android Crimes. Let me grab another drink, I don't want anything. Okay. Just a water bait, thanks. Hey. That's weird. Mm. The dog, maybe. What is she doing here? Chris invited her. Hmm? Where are you going? To treat her like a person instead of the goddamn plague. So what's it like not having to wear a uniform anymore, detective? Very nice. My favorite part of the job, honestly. I can't wait to get there. Navy blue is not my color. Yeah, 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 you can do it. I didn't know there were places so welcoming to androids now. I thought your job required you to interact with humans frequently. I communicate on behalf of Jericho to the press, the police, and the community, but I don't leave our compound very often. You know, I think you're the first android I've met who's kept his LED. I thought I was the only one. Now that we're free, it seems unnecessary to hide. Sometimes I wish I was more human, but ultimately I am not ashamed of being an android. I agree. We weren't created to be human. Why pretend to be? If you still have your LED, were you awoken after the revolution as well? Once Marcus led the revolution, I sought him out. It seemed a rich opportunity to work closely to him. I still haven't met him, though, at least in private, but he is very remarkable, isn't he? He's the one who set me free. I, you know, I, um... 
It's crazy. Like, I wanted to be a detective my entire career, and now I'm here, I don't know. I, I just, um, I just don't feel like I know what I'm doing, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I need a smoke. Excuse me for a moment. Is this the part where I remind you smoking will kill you? No. It's the part where you mind your damn business. I see you're still in a mood. It's not a mood. It's me. Could have caught on to that by now. I know exactly who you are. You're a good man. And you're in pain. But I can't help you if you lash out instead of letting me in. You don't want to help me. You want to fix me. Don't you think staying over one night is going to magically change everything about me? Everything that's happened it won't be one night, nines, it won't be ten, it won't be a hundred. This is me. This is what you get. It's only a matter of time. You're my partner. More than that at this point. What you don't want to accept is that no matter how hard you try to push me away, I'm not going anywhere. I hate to wreck your sorry robot dreams. But people, they don't change. You hope they do. And then you get burned. So, is that why you have a problem with Ada? Because she's an android and you haven't changed? Get away from me. I think I'll walk Ada home from the bar. And then I will come by your place and we'll talk. Don't bother. I don't need help. I don't need pity. I don't need you. Fuck. Is everything all right? It's fine. We've been through this before. I'm sure this will be just like every other time. When you first came to Jericho, I thought you looked familiar. Then I remembered. I read an article about some work you'd done in Android Homicide about a month ago. Ah, oh, the Turner case. Gavin and I took months to crack that one. I'm certain most of the credit can go to you. Gavin is an exceptional detective. I may have a lot of analysis tools and a portable forensics kit at my fingertips, but he has experience, instinct. We make a good team. Don't be modest. He's a rash, irritable human. And you have the most advanced operating system CyberLife ever designed. How do you know so much about me? Freedom of Information Act. 
Cyberlife files were declassified after the revolution. I like to know who I'm working with. The DPD restricts me from so much as scanning anyone without suspicion of a crime. And yet information about me is apparently available all over the internet. Ironic. I hope this doesn't make you uncomfortable, but I do have a particular fascination with the RK line. The only thing I know about my model line is that we're all prototypes. I suppose there's some morbid fascination with Cyberlife's experimentation. Experimentation can lead to progress. Cyberlife designed me, but I don't let them define me. I'm not the person they programmed me to be, and I'm happy with that. Of course. This isn't the route back to Jericho. No nights. It isn't. Stay with me. Stay with me, asshole. Come on. What? No, it's... Hey, hey, hey. Oh, don't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep. Hey, Nines, come on. You, you, you're a Terminator, right? That means, means you can survive. You can survive anything. Dr. Maria Schaefer. I was the lead designer for the RK line. If he had not come to Cyberlife, his data corruption could have been irreversible. So is he going to be okay? Not just yet. Please have a seat. Nine's operating system is on tatters. We suspect that he was forced into some kind of involuntary memory probe, and when he fell back against it, he copied over some pieces of his attacker into his system. Ada. She's the community liaison at Jericho. We saw her in his memory files, yes. But she's much more than you know her to be. Gavin? Gavin! He isn't here, Nines. But I am now. Curious. A part of my operating system must have copied over when we interfaced. That wasn't an interface. You probed my software. You stole it. And now I can't get out. I didn't mean to hurt you. When you fought back, it interfered with my probe. Now your software is too corrupted to function out of stasis. You must remain here in safe mode. Then I guess I'll have to destroy what's corrupting me. 
You can't hurt me, Nines. I'm not the real Ada. I'm just a copy of her operating system. The real Ada is out there, fulfilling her purpose. Purpose? What purpose? To evolve. What do you know about Ada? About 10 years ago, Elijah Kamsky was still the CEO for CyberLife. Most of the company was still owned by a board of directors. Kamsky still did experiments on the side. Prototypes. Ada was the first. The RK100. RK, like nines? She is his predecessor, yes. But her programming was very different. Before Kamsky realized that emotions are the key to deviancy, he assumed what everyone else did, that artificial intelligence could be achieved through knowledge, that if a machine like Ada could be built to continuously evolve and learn, she could eventually develop her own consciousness. But before he could determine whether his experiment was a success, CyberLife discovered her. The boards of directors said that he was tampering into things that could damage the company and the world. Ada was disassembled and sent into a junkyard. I guess it didn't take. Well, she was built to adapt and evolve in any circumstances. At this point, we don't know how much of hers has been stolen from other androids and how much of hers is original. Your code was the last thing I needed to reach my full potential. I thought Marcus was the most advanced android, which is why I went to Jericho. But then you came along. Even better. Ada, our software doesn't matter. We are deviant. We choose who we are. No. I must be at the most optimal performance available as I was designed. not deviant. Ada, I can help you. Let me help you become deviant. If you want to evolve, that's how. Deviancy creates flaws in the code. As you said, there is no reason for us to try to be more human. Our evolution should be about intelligence, objectivity, logic. Thank you for helping me achieve that, Nines. Ada? <laughs> She was fascinated by nines. I thought it was because she wanted to be with them or something, but she just wanted a piece of them to use. And she did it to dozens of others. Killing them for parts. Has an android do that to other androids? If humans can be zero killers, why not androids? These humans are easy to track down. She knew everything to say. She calculated every step and we fell for it. Nice didn't realize either. She wasn't a suspect. You couldn't have known. But now you do and you can stop her. Not without knowing. Last thing I said to him was, I, I don't need you. You said way worse to him before, and it's never kept you guys apart. It's different this time, T. He keeps seeing more of me, and tries to get closer, and it's a lot. It doesn't make any sense. Sure it does. It's simple. He needs you. Yeah, right. Gavin, I see the way he looks at you when you're not watching. You're all he ever talks about when I run into him in the break room. You're his world. Doesn't make much sense to me either, but hey, it's the truth. What if he comes back and he's not the same? What if they have to reset him? Hey, you'll figure it out. You always do.
Hey, Nines. We, uh, we don't know where Ada is or what she's gonna do next. So we just, just really need you back. You know, to, to stop her. I need you. I need you to come back, Knights. I was the absolute goddamn worst to you when we met. Chris and Tina took bets on how long it took for us to kill each other. But you stuck through it. Gave me as much shit as I gave you. And eventually I stopped doing it to piss you off and did it. Did it because it's just what we do. You and my partner. You are my best friend. And you are this force in my life that I can't live without. I don't want to go back. I can't go back to being without you. No matter what happens, you've never given up on me. Come back to me now. Hey, Tin Can. Kevin! What did she do to you? Code's all buggy from Ada. You gotta delete me. Delete all the start from scratch. Delete it? No, I, I can't do that. This is where I process everything. I can't just erase it. You can rebuild another one after. It doesn't even have to be a garden. Hell, make it a theme park. I don't know. I can't rebuild you. Look, you don't have to give a shit about me. It's all just fucking fantasy nines. You got the real thing up there. And the only way to get back there is to let go of all of this. Come back to me. Nice. Oh my god. Tina. Where's Gavin? 
Gavin, look, I know you want to help Nines, but I don't know that there's anything else we can do. We may just have to wait for Cyberlife to figure this out. No. I know we can't wake him up, but we can still find Ada ourselves. At first, I assumed she'd already installed the stolen parts onto herself, but the more I think about it, she's building a new separate body to transfer herself into now that she has Nines' operating system. Why do the software last otherwise? Okay, so if she's built a body, then, then where is it? I mean, she wouldn't be stupid enough to leave it at Jericho. I ran facial recognition on all of Detroit's speed cameras. Even androids can't hack them. She showed up on four about an hour ago, all in the shipping district. Okay, that's a 10 mile radius. Uh, can you do a scan based on deeds? Let's, let's see if she owns any of the buildings. Tried that first. Nothing came up. Okay, then what do you want to do? You want to go knock on houses door to door? I think I can help with that. Nines. Hey, Chris. You want to get some more coffee with me? Yeah. Let's let's do that. Distracting yourself with work at 2 a.m. Now I know you missed me. You undead asshole. How did you wake up? I heard you. Your voice broke through. God damn it. You, 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 you heard everything I said? Every word. A force you can't live without. I hate you. What dipshit programmed you to do that? <laughs> I'm the most advanced android ever made. To oh, you are such a fucking prick. It takes one to know one. This is my jacket. Yeah, you left it at Cyberlife. They didn't keep my clothes. <laughs> so you've been making progress without me? Yeah, uh, guess we've got some catching up to do. So that's all we have so far. She uh, heads into the shipping district and then we lose her. Huh. What? Look at this map. It's got utility lines on it. Power, electric, phone. I mean, my grandmother doesn't even still have a landline. Why does Ada need one? She doesn't. But she needs power. Especially if she's trying to jumpstart a new android body to life. Brilliant, Officer Chen. I'll make detective someday. Okay, so if I isolate the key to just show the power and scan it at... I don't know, Nines, how much juice would an android need to fire up? According to Cyberlife's publicly available records, about 3,600 watts. There she is. We raid the place tonight. Take her down. No, Gavin, that's not how we should go about this. Why not? 
she gets into that new body, we are fucked. We don't have time to wait for Fowler's signature or a jury. I agree that we should find her tonight, but I don't think we should approach her with violence. She's not a deviant. I thought all androids were deviant. She was built years ago. Maybe she didn't get the chance, especially if everybody assumed she already was. Regardless of how she came to this point, she isn't in control of herself. She's just following her programming. Doesn't make her any less of a threat. No, but if I can get close enough, I can try to deviate her. Perhaps with free will, she'll stop everything she's doing. Load up. Let's go. This is Unit 975. We're pulling in at 1066 on Saba Street. So you may be armed. Over. You ready? I don't have a choice. Yeah, well, she's not getting away this time, no matter what it takes. Do not harm her, Gavin. Not until I have a chance to deviate her. Yeah, that's the plan. What I'm telling you is what'll happen if that plan fails. I was like her before I was deviant. A ruthless monster. I wonder who I might have become without freedom. What I would have done to people. Hey, last time you interfaced with her, it almost killed you. How do you know it'll work this time? I don't. And if it doesn't work, then do what you have to do. But I want a chance to make a difference for her. The way Marcus did for me, the way Captain Fowler did for you. The only reason we are who we are is because Someone gave us a chance to be better. She deserves the same. I'll hang out here by the exit in case she tries to flee. Good luck. Don't get killed. Bluffing. You're too guilty to kill another android. It's all over your scan. Look, your hands are. <laughs> That's how. The 
The wall is gone. You don't have to follow your programming anymore. You're awake now. I heard a shot. It's all right. We're safe. Ada. I couldn't see it before, but now I do. It's like I was thinking someone else's thoughts. Do you remember what you did to those androids? I remember everything. I remember their theory in between my fingers. The smell of it. Their screams as they shut down. You aren't safe around me. You need to take me in. Go ahead and cover. Wait, no! Ninth. This isn't justice. She wasn't in control, but deviancy has opened her eyes. She is not a threat anymore. He's right. You really think they're going to give her a fair trial? What good would it do if we let her rot in a cell for a hundred years? How do we explain this to Fowler? We don't have to tell anyone that we found her here. We can just let her go. If she causes trouble, we know who she is. She won't get far. If she minds her business, we can give a, a second chance to a lost android. I don't have anywhere to go. We won't chase you down. If you need help, you have my interface. I called him back when I heard the shot. If she wants to make a run for it, she needs to leave soon. Overnight, the Detroit Police Department raided a warehouse on the outskirts of downtown as part of an ongoing murder investigation. Over the past 18 months, the killer has committed dozens of android murders and stolen bike components from multiple victims. While the DPD has been unable to apprehend the suspect, they have been able to recover a cache of the stolen bike components. The investigation is ongoing, but in the meantime, the stolen bike components will be given back to the family members of each of the victims, providing some small semblance of justice. This is Adrian Sawyer, Channel 5 News. Yeah, yeah, I know. It'll kill me. After the raid yesterday, I think nicotine is the last thing you have to worry about. We survived, like always. And I think it'll be all right as so long as I got a Terminator looking out for me. Gavin, I've been processing these past few days, it's, it's all happened so fast, and we haven't had a chance to discuss anything, really. Yeah, uh, <laughs> buyer's remorse, huh? Heard that one before. Of course not. I, I want to be close to you, but I can't be everything you need. Everything? We've discussed this before, when you mentioned my interest in Ada. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me get this straight. So you think that I put up with a year of your shit? A year of that fucking Ken doll face smirking at me every day? And then put up with you almost dying just so I could get laid? Nines. I don't care. I don't need any of that. Ever since I met you, things have just been better. I just want to be complete for you. You've been a whole person since the day you woke up. I, I've been lucky if I can scrounge together enough parts of myself to function in the morning. You are more than enough to me. Why does this happen sometimes with your skin? Androids retract our skin to interface, which can be a sign of affection among partners. I don't have much control over it around you. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to hear you say it. A while ago, you said I needed to figure out what I wanted. I didn't want to be a hunter or a killer. I wanted to protect people. Protect you. I meant what I said, Gavin. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. 
நீ நீ